Oh gosh, here we are at the drag strip in the Miata. We're gonna shoot for 13s tonight. Let's see how that goes. No, 14, one and 95, no. So much clutch slip. Oh, that was so bad. It was just a rev limit the whole time. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. 14.8. Oh, no.
fourteen four. The clutch is dead. Well, guess I need a clutch finally. The stock clutch with almost a hundred thousand miles, it's twenty years old, is dead. It's official. Well, we did it. We are back home, safe and sound. Car didn't blow up on the way home. Didn't blow up on the track. I got four passes in. Um, kind of impressed with the car, but on the bright side, I did learn a couple things. Um, let's talk about a couple things, actually. Let me show you my slips. All right, so this is the first pass. Um, right off the highway, pretty much. I just drove it there like 45 minutes, and I ran a 14.11 at 95. Car was still kind of hot. Um, this run, I kind of pulled out like a grandma. Ran a 2 360 foot to a 460 foot um, tires. I don't know if they have much more than that in them. I'm sure they have a little more in them. This one I ran a 1403 at 95.77, which is my fastest run. 60 foot, I pulled out a little more aggressively. Um, this run I started to notice my clutch was slipping. Again, this is the stock clutch in this car with. Now almost 100,000 miles on it and making twice the power. Um, third run, where's the third run? Um, here we go, third run. Third run, I ran a 1286. Um, yeah, I kind of blew the clutch to smithereens. At this point, the clutch was definitely slipping um, and I was just on rev limiter the whole time. I couldn't really hear the car with the loud car next to me, but I was on rev limiter. Slow mile an hour, 1286, clutch was slipping. And then this one, I decided I'm gonna give it one more shot, just pull out instead of using the two step. I just pulled out and again, clutch is slipping, not as bad because I wasn't using the two step, but at this point I needed clutch. So after my first run, I noticed that the clutch wasn't all that good. Um, and it was kind of holding me back, like it didn't, really grab the next gear really well and each run it progressively slipped more and more. Third run I turned the two step up to four grand and it just, and whenever I dumped the clutch it just slipped the clutch and break the tire loose. So yeah, we're at the point I need a clutch for this car and we'll see where it goes from here. But um, the setup on this car I'll go ahead and show you is, sorry, super dark, I have a flashlight on. I need to get one of these for my garage, but running a Garrett T25 Turbo with a flying Miata front mount. Um, stock exhaust after the cat. So I cut the cat out. Stock exhaust after that, so that's probably a restriction. Stock injectors, which were completely out of fuel. And the light shut out on me now. But stock injectors were completely out of fuel. It's at the limit, so I have upgraded injectors I have to put in, and we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and put a clutch in it maybe put a bigger turbo on it and we'll go back but right now it is a 14.03 second car so sad if i ran 0 0.04 seconds faster it would have been the 13s but that's drag racing it's always the next step we'll go ahead and fix it and i'll see you guys next time but uh yeah we'll go ahead and do whatever we're gonna do next and we'll take it back we'll try to get it to a 13 oh, that was the ultimate goal today. Clutch definitely held me back, but if the clutch didn't hold me back, I'm sure the car's just not making enough power to run 13 now. Maybe if I had like a really sticky set of tires and could, could get a si good 60 foot, that might do it, but oh well, there's my car. That's what I ran, 12.03. See you guys next time.